You were all witnesses to the insecurity that uh, enveloped Imo State for a period Are you listening? near then almost three years now. And we were all here when government in our effort to curtail Listen very careful. the daily occurrences of uh, insecurity wanting destruction of lives and properties in Imo State. We even made a clarion call to communities and all the local governments as to their support to the security agencies in their fight to bring the level of insecurity to the bottom. We even went up to calling on these unknown gunmen and bandits to cease fire. You heard it? Surrender their weapons, discuss with government, lay down their arms, so a government can work with them in times of rehabilitation and empowerment. Why some of them answered the call, surrendered, and since that time, uh, talking with government, we set up a rehabilitation center where those who surrender their arms will be rehabilitated. Now some continuous, the adamant ones, continued visiting mayhem, destroying properties. Only last month, soldiers on duty around Osu, Awidemir, we lost a captain of Nigerian, a major of Nigerian army to illegal and locally manufactured explosives. Last Saturday, the Joint Security Force who arrested one of the bandits you listen? to the bandits as, as a pointer after his confession as to where they operate from to go and visit where the local explosives are being manufactured. It turned out to be a quote to market. They went there for shops where fertilizers and ammonium sulfates and other electrical gadgets used in manufacturing explosives were packed. As I speak to you, the captain who led that operation is now lying critical at ICU unit of Federal Medical Center with another officer, captain of Nigerian Army. And the soldiers were able to recover all these uh, weapons and the fertilizers meant to manufacture lo local yes. explosives, IEDs. All right, my people. All right. I hope every one of you heard it from hopeless Osodemba. I hope you get a point. Now, do you understand that hopeless Osodemba can lie? You know, when I'm telling my people that these people have vowed to defend Fulani, some people don't even understand what I'm talking about. Now, I hope you begin to get it. The reason why they make hopeless a willing to in Imo State. Now, have you begun to understand it? Abuja made governor. That is the reason why they put him there as a willing to. And I know every one of you know that this man can lie. This man can lie against dead body. He's telling us the reason why he bent down a coat to market in Imo State. And this is exactly what they are projecting to the world. That they were building a local 
explosive bombs in a court or two. You know, these people know how to give a dog a bad name so that they can be able to, you know, slaughter the dog. That is what they are projecting to people, to the world. That they find a four shops. Hopeless. Those of them couldn't even give us an evidence. He could not even use, I mean, to circle those shops till investigation had been carried. No. He just burned all the whole business of our people. The businesses of our people, their shops, their market, he burned everything down because of his political ambition. And some of you will be there sheepishly following this 419er that you know that this man is ready to do anything to plead his masters. Now they begin to build explosive in the market. And all this while they have been building it, nothing happens to the market. And hope who saw them discover it. Instead of him to carry investigation to round the shop up and arrest people, no, he just burned everything down to tell you that he must make a way for his masters to enter by destroying the businesses of our people so that our people will go down on their nails and begin to beg. That is exactly what they are doing. They want to destroy everything we have. They want to kill all our young people so that the Fulanese that are coming from Chad, Mali, Nijeo, Senegambia will troop into that contraption and begin to pregnant our women. Tomorrow they will tell you we have intermarried. We have already coexisted for a long time. We can never separate that uh, diversity is their strength. Now do you understand what is playing? Can you get the point? The hope was or them what is telling us the reason why he destroyed a key market. A quarter to market. You know, you see. I don't know sometimes why all this thing is happening but sometimes also I do understand because we are fighting for freedom. We are not in Omuna meeting or you know in a something like a club meeting we are fighting for survival. We are here to see different faces, different attitudes. That's why I keep on telling my people that we are in different faces of war. Because what we are fighting is a nation. That is why you are seeing all the shenanigans here and there. And I but at the end, Biafra must come. And all these things they are doing today is also to implicate our leader that he is involved in all those things and which is a game plan against our leader. Plus the infiltrators. All of them, they are working together. Now you have you begin to understand it. My people, my question to you all now is, did you people see or saw those places that hopeless, those of them were, the willing to, the senior boy boy of Fulani, found that they were producing a local explosive bomb. Did you people also see it? Or, because I am asking a question. Because he's out there now projecting this to the world, lying to the world. Because he just wants to destroy the properties of our people. So that our people won't have a choice. 
than to follow them. This is what I have for you today. But let me introduce myself. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdi Okukan, where we always set the record straight. My name's Paul Mazo Okenina Okechukun, known as the Bia Franchise in Washington. The general. Now you have seen it, you listen to it. I want you to meditate and think about it. Good day and welcome.